bigger than like 30, 40,000 square feet. Like we couldn't imagine a data center of this type because at the time, most of our customers were internet service providers and carriers. Very few content providers and enterprises were using the internet to scale that would require it. And so we just couldn't imagine it because here, 5,000 square feet, we had the largest exchange point ever built in history. So 30,000 sounded good. So our first data center in Virginia is like 28,000 square feet. And we got about a third into the construction when we realized how off we were by an order of magnitude. And so by the time we were a third in, we knew that we were going to have to build out the entire thing. It would already be too, the density would be too low. We got in all these fights, I remember, in the design team about whether or not we could cram, like break the laws of physics, to cram more power in that. But when we were moving on to DC War or uh, San Jose War, we already were thinking 100 to 125,000. And once we did that, it opened up a whole new realm of questions because data centers of that size with one consistent uh, uh, layer around cross connects and infrastructure that was multi tenant, yes. not one guy. Right. No one had ever done it. We wanted fiber. Yep. But to get fiber, you basically had to prove to a phone company that there would be enough consumption sure, of course. in order to justify the fiber bill. Yep. So we lied. <laughs> and we told Pac Bell yep. that not only was there fiber coming in, but WorldCom was coming in. Yeah. Then we went to WorldCom and told them that Pac Bell and AT&T were coming in. And then they literally, based on, I hate to say it, a lot, yeah. all put the fiber in. But then here's the interesting second part. Then when people would call up the telco and say, hey, where do you have that much capacity? Yeah. The telco salespeople and the telco provisioning people would say, oh, you have to put that in Palo Alto. Right. If you want to do something on an OC12, yeah. yeah. there was one place to go, right. and it was here. So, so they had the content. It was a self-fulfilling yeah. prophecy. Yeah.